How's it going guys? It's Poetry Sun and welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Chaos Campaign. Where we last left off, we're slowly pushing down the East Coast. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's going pretty well, I would say. We do have a naval invasion notify or notification here that I did not actually see. I think it's coming in onto Boston. Uh, that's the only thing that would make sense to me, really. But um, we have troops in position on all the ports in that area, so that's okay. Germany has broken the molotov ribbentrop Pact, so I mean obviously that stuff is going to be historical. We have the historical modifier, I mean, historical focuses, that's it, yeah, you know. So that's cool, that's cool and all, but uh, hmm, I don't really want to risk like retreating there. Um, we're slowly pushing down into Virginia and other places, um, we're going to go ahead and, no, let's do like this. It's hills, but they're moving out of those hills in just a second. Okay, push up. Let's just keep pushing forward, you know? That's what we gotta do. That's all we gotta do. Just keep pushing forward little by little. That's mountains. That's not gonna be a good idea. How long till you reach there? Nine hours? How long till, how long till you reach there? Okay. Oh, and modified government. Finally. Okay, so we're going to be able to do limited conscription now, uh, which is huge because, like, now we have manpower, actually. Because <laughs> before, we didn't have, we were negative on manpower, and you can see it's still actually going to be retreating over the next couple, or uh, retreating? Reinforcing over the next couple uh, months or so. This is not good. So we did lose a province here, which is unfortunate. Uh, it's not good at all, actually, but... It's okay. We, we gotta do it, but you gotta do. That's not gonna be a good attack. Um. Yeah, they're actually pushing quite hard right now. I want you to retreat to here. I don't want to do that. Why won't it let me use the shortcut for what it's supposed to be for? There you go. You go there. They've completely pulled off from around the uh, the Rust Belt. And, uh, I love this. They're, the fact that they're just going up all the way into the north, into the blizzard, you know, they're probably suffering a ton of attrition and stuff, um, and they're not going to really get any benefit from it because of the fact that they're dumb. You know, none of that is worth any victory points. Um, let me see. Canadian-American War. So, like, you have, you know, they have 6%. Oh, my God, they're 91% towards the capitulation? How are they so far to capitulation? What happened that made them be so far to capitulate? I, it must have been their capital. I don't think I ever paid attention. In Seattle. That makes sense. Oh my god. Wow. Um, apparently, apparently we just need to get a couple more points. Lovell? So, all right, here's a funny story um, while we're here looking at stuff. Um, funny story. Um, Norfolk should be like 10. Well, here's an interesting fact. You might not know this, but I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, people who are in the military or were in the military who are watching this, because there might be a couple of you, um, statistically, probably at least like one of you has been. Um, well, possibly. But, uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Norfolk is the, uh, the Navy that's the base of the whole U.S. Navy. So, um... That's or at, or it's at least like where the largest navy base is, right, in Norfolk. So it's it makes sense that it's worth quite a few points, as well as it's a fairly large uh, population center as well. So yeah, uh, there's a lot of battles going on. But yeah, so anyways, funny story. Um, if you don't know, my friend Two F Jeff, uh, that I have done videos with in the past, not recently, but in the past, uh, I've done videos with him and stuff. He is from Kentucky. He goes to, well, actually, I'm not going to give away his information because he is actually quite a bit more popular than my channel is. Um, but either way, he's um, well, he's from Kentucky. Um, and it's really funny because him and his girlfriend, we, I know them both fairly well. And apparently Lo Louisville, what we call Louisville, is actually called, uh, is, it's not called Louisville. To them, I call it Louisville, right? That's that's what it's supposed to be, Louisville. Um, but they call it Lovell, Lovell, and it's uh, it's just because of the the country accents and stuff. And I respect that. And I'll, you know, normally I try to call it what they call it, but I just find that kind of funny. <laughs> um, 
but yeah. So that's a funny little piece of, of trivia. I think if we take Norfolk, we should be good to go. But we need some more troops, and to fulfill that need, we're gonna come down here with this. Uh, we got some more factories. I think that's probably from uh, Virginia or Indiana. Yeah, that, that's what it is, because Indianapolis. Okay, and if we can get the U.S. to capitulate, that's gonna be huge, because like, obviously then we're gonna have to start planning what else we're gonna do. Are we gonna go and invade the U.K. and whatnot? But, but still, it's uh, it's still good though, because it, what it does is it allows us to not have to be so worried about the U.S. eventually turning it around and then getting the upper hand. It'll allow us also to just have a ton of industry and uh, build up as much as we'd like. I would honestly like to get Mexico in our faction, but that might not be doable. But either way, it's just going to be nice to be able to relax for a second and continue to build up before we go on and continue to attack uh, other people. The Recon Company 2 is good. Uh, it's 41, so we should do this. The Ram. Let's go and do that. Okay, let's... I think, I think if we take Norfolk, we should be good, actually. We should get them to capitulate, but I'm not completely sure, so, you know, don't quote me on that, but I do think it's gonna put us a lot closer, that's for sure. And now, we're gonna do what I call the Blitz, and we're gonna try to Blitz down to San Francisco as well. I think that should be interesting to try. Okay, let's see. Yeah, come on, Cavalry, you got this. Ugh, I think they know that the end is coming to them fairly quickly. 82%? I don't know. We, not, we might need a bit more. Like Charlotte, Charleston, Atlanta. Mm, we'll see. It could be a while till they capitulate, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure if what we have is enough, but I think if any couple cities could do it, it's going to be what we're going to be taking now. Yeah, let's pull back a little bit. It's a little too risky, I think. Hmm. Okay. They're not letting me take that one yet. I'm being stubborn. Uh, oh, hey, you know what? Here's something. Don't go that far. No, 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 no. You stay, like, right up there. All right, cool. Good, though. That's good. Still, though, I mean, I think this is going well, seeing that we're fighting a superior power in every way, really. Um, the fact that we're able to really have this be a success is quite, uh, quite crazy. I'm not going to join your faction, Germany. Screw off, mate. Okay. Move up there. I want you to help there, actually. I don't know if Norfolk itself will be enough, but uh, hopefully it will be. Okay, I want one of you to come here. There we go. They're gonna probably pull out of there because they know they've lost at this point. I'm gonna pull my mic a little closer. The bits is bits and pieces program. Nice. Uh. It, I think that added on to actually one of our, our things. What did that? It's a piece of program. Production efficiency base, production efficiency growth, and factory habit. That's really good. It's pretty good. Um, we want to get to if day, so I think we're just going to go ahead and, uh, and do John Inglis and Company. So let's do that. Okay, let's go ahead, and I think we're going to go ahead and just go all in on this and attack. If we do take it, it's not going to be a problem to refill in the line after that. So I'm not super worried about it. In other words, let's just do it. Okay, and I want you to again come down to here. Okay, we took Norfolk. They did not capitulate. All right, that's fine. I didn't really think they would necessarily. Um, 96% though. So that was 4%. I think we only need another 10% uh, 10 victory point point 
you know. We only need 10 more victory points worth, I think. And St. Louis is 10. Okay, here's what we do. This guy should be able to make it to his final destination. Five days, okay. And if we can make it without getting engaged, which is gonna be difficult, but we might be able to do that. Oh, no, we're not gonna be able to, not yet. Okay, let's uh... Mm, I don't know, man. Let's just... What we should probably do is go ahead and blitz towards like Charlotte and Atlanta. Yeah, we're getting actually far into the south, farther than I thought we would this easily. I mean, our line is getting a little stretched thin, but that's kind of what you uh, expect. Really? The fall of Cairo? Oh my god! Italy is actually doing quite well in, uh, in North Africa. Huh. Germany and the USSR are fighting. Uh, apparently they've already started doing the invasions. I don't know, this has been like a fairly historical game. Um, and fairly well balanced. It's not like Germany is super powerful. They, uh, they haven't conquered Norway yet, which is interesting. Greece has capitulated, okay. And, like, it seemed like most of the stuff that's supposed to happen has happened, even if it's been maybe a little bit late. Ah, we should pin that guy down. Yeah, there you go. Hmm, tricky. Uh, I don't know if we can make it to St. Louis. St. Louis. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get very far on the west coast doing that blitz plan I had in mind, which is unfortunate. But hey, look at this. We might be able to reach the... Uh, St. Louis, like I was planning. Yeah, we're gonna be able to make it. Okay, this is good. Yeah, okay, we did it. Yes! Oh, that's so satisfying. And we have done it. Okay, well! <laughs> I can't believe it, actually. That's lovely. Unitary Canada has now united the US with Canada. That's lovely. Yo, I like how the snow is actually everything above uh, our, you know, above the US-Canada border. Okay, that's huge though. So the fact that we were able to conquer the US is great. That's really, really, really good. Um, super powerful. And uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite good, I think. Um, we are getting a slight bit of manpower from that as well, from the US. But uh, yeah, what, so what do we do now? That's, the good, that's a good question. I think now we're gonna start pumping out a whole bunch of boats and we're gonna go to Europe and try to take as much of Europe as we possibly can. I'm gonna try to get Germany in our faction. Uh, I do think it's good to have other people in the faction. It just kinda takes away some of the micro. They'll help a little bit. Um, they, they can make better use of lots of stuff than you can a lot of the time too. So, now that we have a whole bunch of factories, what do we do? Well, I think we go ahead and start doing like a full line of fighters. Um, I think we also should do some naval bombers. Naval bombers are surprisingly pretty important and, and good. Um, and yeah, I, I think this is gonna be good. We have all of these things, obviously. Um, and this is gonna allow me to like show off some of the new features of this uh, expansion. So here's one on the, we need to have, this is a, uh, I want a new theater here. This is gonna be the home front. Home, home front? Yeah, home front. So this is gonna be the home front theater. And basically what this means is this is gonna be a garrison thing. And so one of the new features, oh, this I should actually mention, this is not part of the expansion. So you can, this is a free feature. So don't think that you need to get the expansion to do this. Um, if you weren't planning on getting expansion, this should not change your mind. Um, but this is a new feature. They actually have made it so that now you can show what the garrison should guard, which is awesome. You can say guard forts, guard air bases, attempt to lower resistance, guard coastline, you know, coastline, yes, of course. Um, victory points and ports. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we wanna guard the coastline, uh, but we don't really care about forts, air bases, attempts to lower resistance. I mean, we would like that, I suppose. 
Uh, but we race basically care about ports. Ports is the main thing. So we want you to garrison on the ports. All right, meanwhile, you guys, I'm actually going to put you guys on that theater as well. Because um, I think that'll be nice. We, we probably need a little bit more than I was giving it credit for. Um, there you go. Okay. Meanwhile, this army of 12 is also going to be on the home front. We'll make this guy blue, like a dark blue. Um, these guys are going to garrison the east coast. So let's go ahead and add up all of these east coast things. Uh, actually, what we would, what we should do is uh, leave everything above there. This is going to be its own one, specifically because that's so much industry. I think we're going to leave that to be its own thing. Um, so this is going to be just the the ports of the east coast, just like that. You need 13, you have 12, so that's probably good enough. Um, then we're going to take this one, and these guys are going to have a special order. They're going to be the ones that are going to guard the industry uh, centers and stuff. So you guys are going to be all the way up here. Philadelphia doesn't have a single port or anything, so... Uh, but it, is, it does have industry, so... Okay, and you guys, so you guys are going to be the ones that guard the coastline. No, we don't need that. Don't guard the victory point. Don't guard that. That. Mainly, I want you to do low resistance, guard naval bases, and you don't even need to do victory points, but do that. There you go. Because the uh, sabotage can really start to annoy you, um, and it's not actually that bad, which is good. But we are going to need to like recruit more troops probably to deal with this. I'm going to take you and put you on that group actually. And I'm going to take you and put you on the blue group. The blue man group. So there we go. Now we go into the period of defense. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, be working on stuff. Uh, okay. It's not time for this yet. Um... Gonna do that. Cool. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here, uh, and we'll come back next episode and figure out what our plan of attack is gonna be, and go ahead and start pumping out a whole bunch of planes, a whole bunch of tanks, and other stuff. We'll figure that out. Either way, thank you for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more, and come back in the next episode for some more Canadian chaos. Bye bye.